Hi fellas, it's a fact, I read about it today again in, uh, I think it, was, it might have been Oregon, but uh, Bill Gates and George Soros, the world's like super rich, the top 1%, are buying up um, as much farmland and ag agricultural land and livestock land we can all around the world and that's quite a lot we can afford up a lot they're doing it in, they've done it in scotland they've closed down dozens of family farms more ancient farms uh certainly in scotland i think they're just planting wood uh probably to help his green credentials um it, I, you know the band obviously probably marginal anyway he's buying them as cheap as possible all these farms that have been in families for hundreds and hundreds of years they're all being covered in pines or whatever woodland and uh, they're going to do the same in the us they're doing the same in canada vast tracts of land millions of acres i think uh in holland too i think this is all to so uh this is all to stop meat production and probably to you know in his own way to stop pollution although you know all these trees and crops obviously absorb carbon dioxide uh, but the big plan is in the future it's already set with the World Trade Organization, part of the Great Reset. It's on there. Google WTO. It's there in big black and white letters. The Great Reset's needed. This is all part of the um, pandemic. Pandemics. <laughs> There's a double pandemic coming, by the way, this winter. They say it in English news. So that'll be more Gestapo powers for the police. Far less freedom. They'll probably make it law. You've got to have the, the jab. I would like two or three or four double jabbies or whatever. I've not had one at the moment and I don't want one. I was talking to a guy called John and uh, he, going back a few months, he, uh, two days before speaking to him, he had his father, 87 years of age, still fit as a fiddle, lived at local, working away, doing a really hard manual job. For earning good money 87 was it 84 87 84 sorry 84 years of age and he took the booster and he died three days later <laughs> i kid you not uh, i was talking to his son who was called john and he was like um what a year older than me um, honestly it's quite sad isn't it he's been fighting for all his life still working away with good money but that's the plan that's what he's that's what bill gates and source are doing and of course, we're going to flood the whole US with uh, with um, illegals. This was planned even when the last fellow was in office. Remember, he had to, he had to stop them turning him back. But that's the plan. Uh, it's great for the for, for the false liberals because all these guys are, are going to vote for him, just as they've done in London. Voted for Sadiq Khan. We'll never get him out. And uh, it's the same as in Yorkshire and Scotland. They're bringing them in, dragging them in as fast as they can, making them councillors, giving them power. And, uh, you know, let's be honest, they've ruined the UK and, and Northern Europe now. Uh, we're, we're being outbred. Uh, women won't have any babies. They have about five and six a couple. You know, we're, we're stuffed in the, U the UK now. Uh, as the, in America and Canada, there was still some hope. Has the reversal of world versus way it shows but that's the big plan it's by it's not just in oregon i saw today and the plan is once all the animals are dead they're going to feed us believe it or not on factory produced in uv light mealy worms yeah reconstituted mealy worms ground up into look a bit like burgers that's the big plan